Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you some brush pens with piston refilling mechanism. So I found this brush pens at Straits Art, a local art shop here in Singapore. Their hair is probably synthetic because I don't see any coloration with the hair. And this is the other one. These are just generic brush pens with no brands. I actually bought a few of this many years ago and those came with natural hair and after using them for a few weeks the hair started dropping so the quality um, wasn't that great unfortunately i'm not able to tell you how durable these are in this video review however i will update my text review uh, after i use this for a few weeks the purpose of this brush pen is to draw paint or to do calligraphy with it this is not meant to be used like a water brush so this is a water brush with water inside this holder here where you can press and the water will come out here if you put water inside this brush pan to get the water out you actually have to turn the piston so while you're painting watercolor and you're turning this it's inconvenient compared to just pressing the body here to get the water out the hair for this particular brush pan is quite Big. This is 2.5 centimeters, and they have used some glue to glue the hair together so you have to wash that away before you can use this. This is the transparent ink reservoir. Seems like it can hold quite a bit of ink, however because this hair is so big, chances are you are going to use up the ink really fast. This is the medium size one. This is about two centimeters and this one here is about one centimeter so this is quite small all these brush pens are made with plastic the build quality is so so and the design well they don't look that good these two brush pens cannot be dismantled but this one can i can actually twist this metal part here let me just turn this so i guess you can dismantle this for thorough cleaning. I wasn't able to pull out this part though. You can use waterproof inks in these brush pens but I don't recommend you use those heavily pigmented inks because if this clogs and you cannot dismantle this then the brush pen would be unusable. All right, let's fill this transparent brush pen with some ink. I'm using Noodler's Golden Brown. I will fill the two other brush pens with other inks later. It looks like this brush pen is able to hold a good amount of ink. The point of this brush pen is actually quite sharp. So let me try and draw some thin and thick lines. This can be quite good for calligraphy. So I can get thin lines very easily and the lines they taper really nicely these are some dry brush strokes they perform pretty nicely for these are great for drawing as well Let me try the other two pens. So this one comes with a screw-on cap while the other two come with the clip-on cap. Screw-on pen caps have better seals. In case of ink leakage, it should keep the ink inside the cap. I've got to wash away the glue or whatever substance they are using to bind the hair together. For this, I'm going to fill it with Noodler's Lexington Grey, which is a waterproof grey when dry. Let's try the thin and thick lines again. Wow. This is very thick and this is very flexible. It's a bit more difficult to get thin lines with this. You can probably still draw with this. 
The line variations that you can get with this is incredible because this brush is so big. You can use this to color large areas very quickly, very easily. And the point is relatively sharp as well, so you can reach into small areas to paint details. It's a bit difficult to control the ink flow though because um, I mean the ink will just keep flowing. Let me dry the brush to see if I can control the ink flow. So let's paint here. The ink flow for this brush pen is too good. So even after I dried the hair, the ink started flowing again immediately. So when you're painting or when you're coloring with this brush pen, you can expect the ink wash to be like really wet, which also means it's going to take a long time for the ink to dry. So if you use waterproof ink, you have to wait for a long time before you can apply watercolor over your ink. This can be good for quick tonal studies like this because you can apply and color large areas very easily. I will be very careful if I bring this outdoors though because the ink can actually splatter. So if this is inside your pencil case or inside your bag and it's rocking around, the ink may actually splatter out. With good ink flow like this, you can actually use a clip to create splatter marks very easily. And now let's try the big one. Wow. See how broad this stroke is. I can get some dry brush effect here. The ink flow is not able to catch up with the strokes because this is too big. This by the way is the Chinese word for pen. So I've just twisted the piston behind to get more ink. This is black. Same thing you can use this for tonal studies as well. So usually I use Lexington Grey and Noodleless Black for tonal studies. But the ink flow for this is actually not as good for some reason compared to the smaller brush. Maybe it's really because the hair here is too big. This hair definitely feels very synthetic to me. It has the springiness of the synthetic hair. It can go back to its shape easily, but not a really sharp point unless you point it yourself. So the main selling point for this is just how big the hair is. However, the ink flow is definitely affected by the size of this. This medium sized one has good ink flow and the hair here is still quite big. All right, let's compare this brush pens to some other more common brush pens. These are the Pentel color brush pens that I have filled with black and gray ink. I use this for quick tonal studies and black and white sketches. And these are very convenient. The downside to these two Pentel color brush pens is when it comes to refilling, I have to use a syringe to put the ink into the body. Whereas to refill these brush pens, it's very easy to just twist the piston. The hair of the Pentel color brush pen is also shorter, but this has never been an issue for me. And this can produce a sharp point as well. And this is the Pentel brush pen. This hair is maybe one centimeter. So this is about the same length as this brush pen. To refill this, you have to use a syringe or you have to buy those disposable cartridges. So with this, it's definitely more convenient when it comes to refilling. The price for each one of this is $9.50 in Singapore currency, which translates to around seven US dollars. So these are very affordable. You can probably find them on Amazon or eBay. The binding for the hair on this brush pens um, seem good enough for me. At least they are much better compared to the ones that I bought many years ago. 
of course the quality of the binding of the hair will differ depending on um, the brand of the brush pen you get all right if you guys want to check out more art product reviews you can visit my youtube playlist the link is in the video description below thanks for watching see you again